Okay, we can start this one off by baiting up. This is for our spinners, milkies, fishing Umtanzini, that whole area, Tugela, all the way down to Durban. Very, very simple. Chocker, most probably the most productive bait that you can use for them. They do like a softer um, red eye or sardine bait, but chocker definitely stays on a lot longer. Okay, so what we want to do for the milkies and the spinners is basically the way I like to do it is just take it along the top, cut it down, take off the skin, opening up. Okay, there we go. So basically that is your clean chocker. Easiest way just get rid of that over there. Okay, tentacles work extremely well for them. So cut a nice bit of tentacle out there. there that one, there's our second one. And this is the softer, thinner part of it, so it definitely does work well, especially if you're using a bigger hook. And I'm just going to take that quickly and just cut it at more of an angle. Get rid of it, okay. Okay, so basically that is what we're looking at starting off. <coughs> Stainless steel chocker hammer, the hard side of it. Now that is the flesh side of it. That is the skin side, so we're going to put the skin side facing up and we're just basically going to lightly tap it. All we want to do is basically break the skin. It also allows a lot more of the smell to come out while we're doing that. And it also softens the bait up quite nicely. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. Very simple. I'm just gonna neaten up it again. Let's see how long the tentacle is. A little bit big. Okay. <coughs> Here's our trace. Start at the bottom hook. So that would be our bottom hook. Because there's no flotation on it, we take a very thin piece, and I'm just going to use that piece over there. You can use a red eye backbone if you want, or a sardine backbone, to give it a bit of a base. We're just going to use a bit of chocker here. So we take that. Just to give it a bit more bulk to it. And we put a lot of it actually on. Okay, so basically what we've got, finish there. Okay, so basically what we've got is we've got a bit of uh, hard chocker as our base. Okay. Turn it over and we're going to wrap that little piece of chocker around our hook. If the spinners and milkies are very prolific you don't have to go to too much effort to make your bait look nice and neat and that. A big blob chocker bait will do the job just as well and it's a lot quicker to actually put on. But when they are a little, how can I say, if there aren't a lot of them around, this little bait sitting on the bottom will work very well. 
and also for the cob. It just sits there, does nothing, but it gets a lot of the flavor out using a longer, thinner bait. Okay, the top one is more important. So what we're gonna do, that's got the flotation in it, it's got the movement in it. Put that around. Grab my Kingfisher latex cotton quickly. And we just, and like I said, you can use red flotation if you want, you can use white, it's up to you. <clears throat> this is very nice if there's a lot of cob around, a little snapper salmon around. And there we go. There's the first bait. There's the second bait. And if you want to know how to make this little milky trace, or spinner trace, just go back and view our previous episodes on traces.